Now I'm drinking some grape juice, which, which equals son of God. Okay, here we go. We have some Welch's, oh, that's the French there, hold on. Some Welch's, okay, grape juice. And grape juice equals son of God. <sighs> wow. And uh, no sugar equals son of God, as in there's no sugar added uh, to this um, reasonably natural product, okay? It's just glaring. So, grape juice equals son of God. Juice equals son, okay? So, son of God moving this way. Juice equals son, PE equals of, GRA is a famous trio, which equals God. Grape juice equals son of God. Wow. Um, and we know, this is just a, such a cool metaphor, you know, from the bread and the wine at the Lord's Supper, Jesus said, of the wine, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. And blood equals son equals juice. Okay. Um, so this gets really cool. The word blood is S-O-N perfectly, symmetrically going backwards. Look at the word blood. It equals son. The O-D on the end equals S. The O in the middle is O. And then the B-L equals N. So if you call this, okay... If you call this grape juice, that equals son of God. If you call it if if you call it grape blood, that equals son of God. Wow, it's all metaphorically perfect for Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who shed his blood, okay, on the cross for the remission of our sins, okay? And ever since he instituted this at the Last Supper over 2,000, well, approximately 2,000 years ago, okay, with the bread and the wine, okay, what is wine? Well, it is grape blood, also known as grape juice, which we already declared and mentioned that grape juice equals son of God, okay? G-R-A, God, P-E of, juice, son. Or you can call it grape blood. The Bible uses that term often, okay, especially in the Old Testament, the blood of grapes, okay, um, very dramatic, very obvious, okay, um, so this is another gem from God that he ordained from the dawn, from before time began, because Jesus was the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world, um, but isn't it amazing, okay, that in the sovereignty of God, okay, as are all things by his divine power. I, in the year 2020, referencing Jesus Christ, our Lord, God in the flesh, okay? Grape juice equals son of God perfectly. Going backwards. Son of God equals grape blood, okay? Um, and then no sugar, which you have seen, this product has no sugar added um, to the natural grapes. <clears throat> no sugar is a word we had from the Lord when drinking our natural cocoa powder days ago and again yesterday. No sugar is a glaring son of God. It starts with S-O-N, then the U is of, and then the G-A-R is God again. That's the same G-A-R in grape juice. <laughs> Could it be any more obvious? And now here I hold in my hands one product with both gems on the same label. Grape juice equals son of God. No sugar equals son of God. The one is Son of God going backwards. The other one is the Son of God going forwards. <laughs> is it just me or does this person named God, Jesus, <laughs> have this entire story wrapped up, sealed up in the palm of his hands together with the Holy Father and the Holy Ghost from the dawn of time? Um, okay. Wow. Um, so... There's a lot to mention, okay? Jesus is the grape that was crushed. Uh, by the way, one more time. Yeah, red grape equals Jesus, okay? And it's red grapes that were crushed, okay, to make the, the wine, which represents the blood of Jesus, or you can just simply have grape juice before it ferments, okay? So either way you deal with the stuff, it's all referencing Jesus. Because red grape, okay, equals Jesus equals God's son. Remember the G-R-A in Greek equals, equals God, and then the red plus P-E equals son. So one more time, let's review. Red grape, if I was holding one, red grape equals Jesus equals God's son. From the red grape, 
comes grape juice, which equals son of God. <laughs> um, man. Um, grape wine is three points higher. Oh, my, my, my. The glories of the Lord. Um, he is God, by the way. Um, that title, the Lord, is not a joke. Um, it's superior to all prime ministers, all presidents, all authorities and powers in the universe, including your boss, your wife, your everything and everyone. Jesus is God. And if you remember, it's only you only have to live today. You only have to live today for Jesus with the effort that you can. Um, but life and your existence is actually that simple. If you will take faith to live for the glory of Jesus and his words um, and his personal names everywhere in the world today and today only, um, he will provide for you, okay? And um, because he is the owner of the universe. He is the Lord of the universe. He is the true owner, okay? Um, you know, no company in the world is the owner. Jesus is the true owner. And when you work for Jesus and to promote his names, um, he provides for you and it's the best life you ever dreamed of. Uh, the dream equals Jesus. So I just wanted to proudly declare these revelations, okay, um, that I hold in my hand for the glory. So we've had a lot of Son of God gems lately. A lot of 95s. Um, son of God, Son of God, Son of God. There was another one this morning if we review our videos. Um, but um, there you go. Okay, so grape juice, son of God, red grape, Jesus, God's son. So amazingly, and then you, and then the red, the red grape becomes the raisin, and then that says he is risen. It's so cool. Okay. Um, it's amazing to, um, you know, just watch people do what they do. You know. Um, Ay, ay, ay. Uh, <laughs> as they put on these masks going into the store, you do not need to do that. Um, so, uh, and I love that. <laughs> I love this kind of thing. You know, <laughs> I, I love this kind of preaching. 100% grape juice equals 100% son of God. <laughs> wow. With no sugar added equals son of God added. As if the grape juice son of God wasn't enough, we needed a no sugar added on top of that, which is son of God added on top, put to 100% in front, and it's 100% son of God. <laughs> coming in and coming out. Um, so, <laughs> I got to tell it like it is, for the glory of God. Um, it's, you know, we've solved all the grape juice in the universe for a long time. Um, and this, of course, applies to all red wine, okay, which is exactly what Jesus would have used at the Last Supper. Uh, scholars all, you know, I just, I don't need to, you know, most scholars agree that the wine that Jesus would have consumed at the Last Supper and at the, the wedding miracle in Cana would have had way less alcohol than the stuff that people shove in their mouth today, which is very dangerous, okay? And uh, that's as much as I'll say there, okay? Um, good. Um, you can have no alcohol for tremendous joy. No alcohol is beautiful vibes, but that that's just a separate discussion. Um, okay. Um, you know, God, I pray that God leads you perfectly in all things. Okay. I, I, with all of my heart, but mark my words, God food, Theobro Macaco is the cat's meow at the beginning of this dream diet, uh, consumption day. And it's all about today. All right. So here we go. Grape juice, son of God. Are you ready for this one? With vitamin C, which equals the Father. <laughs> so here we have 100% Son of God with the Father. <laughs> and it's written on the bottle. 100% grape juice with vitamin C, okay? 100% grape juice, okay, with from concentrate, with vitamin C. And we know that vitamin C equals the Father. Everyone knows that vitamin C is the most critical vitamin for human health and happiness. If you were stranded on a deserted island and were offered one choice of one vitamin to have in greater supply than all the others, you would choose vitamin C as wise, uh, to be a wise person. Okay, so vitamin C equals the Father, which is the topmost member of the triune true God. Okay, so here I hold in my hands 
100% grape juice, which equals 100% Son of God, with vitamin C, which equals the Father. So allow me, 100% Son of God with the Father. <laughs> there it is. To your best health. Because you can't have the Son without the Father, and you can't have the Father without the Son. Jesus told us that. One more time. 100% Son of God with the Father. Genius. Okay. Uh, just as good as it was created more than 6,000 years ago. Foreordained by heaven. You have to marvel, my friends, that grape juice has been consumed by every human of every culture from the dawn of Eden. Whether it's pure grape juice straight from the vine or it's turned into wine by means of all the process that we accomplish that. But fundamentally, from the very beginning, it starts with a red grape, which equals Jesus, which equals God's Son, which equals Great I Am, going backwards or in symmetry, um, which equals Kamatra, which is, okay. And from that red grape, which equals Jesus, equals Messiah, equals the King, comes grape juice, which equals Son of God. <laughs> and everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Okay. His, his personal names are everywhere in, in anything and everything that has ever brought people health and happiness. So, to your best health. Merry Christmas. And I say that 24-7, okay? Because every second of every moment we celebrate, okay, the birth of Jesus Christ, God with us. Hallelujah. One more time. I can't get enough of this. I'm just, I'm just giving it to me. There it is. To your best health and happiness. My cup runneth over. Praise his sacred name. Okay, so 100% grape juice. 100% son of God. With vitamin Z. With the Father. I'm on fire. All right. And by the way, as a bonus gem for you, what goes on top of this fine bottle? Well, it's called the lid, which equals Father. <laughs> because Father is on top. And bottle equals Jesus equals God's Son. So allow me. Okay. We have a bottle, which equals Jesus equals God's Son. And what goes on top? Who's on top of Jesus, God's son? The lid, which equals father. Done. <laughs> praise his sacred and glorious name. Um, in fact, praise his sacred and glorious names. God is too glorious that he, he literally has an innumerable number of names. Did you know that? Because most of the names, well, he's a superlative as all superlatives can be strung together. Okay, but amazingly, many of the personal names of God that we read in the Holy Scripture were given by humans that said that they were trying to find words for this great God that they uh, experienced personally. And okay, I've said enough there. Um, hundred percent grape juice from concentrate with vitamin C, no sugar added, <laughs> which equals Son of God added. Bring that on. Oh, praise his sacred and glorious name. By the way, purple is double faith. Okay. Um, and each syllable divides by 11. Pur is a famous 55. It's the root of purity, faith and joy. And then pull is 33. Purple. It's a faith gem. So anywhere you see, fur, anywhere you see purple in the story of God, God is telling you to believe. God is telling you faith, faith, faith. Anywhere, okay? that you see purple. In fact, you know, this very product, grape juice, we class, you know, most people, you know, might say, well, that actually looks like a blood red. It really does. As I look at this product, um, you know, it, it actually does look like a blood red, just like um, uh, the blood of Christ, okay? Which is, what it's supposed to. That's that's really what it was created for. As Jesus told us, this this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Okay. So, um, of course, the grape juice from the red grape, which equals Jesus, okay, um, is a memoir, okay, a symbol of his blood, which he shed on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Blood equals sun, going backwards. Amazing. How, how beautiful is that? And... You know, what's, what is special about blood? It delivers all the oxygen to our cells. 
Okay? Yeah. And so it makes glorious sense that he would also ordain Theobromacacao, God, food, uh, to be uh, a food that blesses um, blood flow and oxygen uptake to all of yourselves. Oh, it's also it's also perfect. Okay. Um, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh yeah, the two titles of God and the word grapes in order is God and then us. God plus us. Oh yeah, grapes equals happy equals blessed. Equals God, food, and... Okay, that's enough.